All right, Ron, thanks very much. Yes, Ron. The Stars come out on After Hours, and uh, we're off to a good start this season as one of the game's premier goaltenders. Uh, the winner tonight joins us. Uh, hard to believe that uh, this is Marc-Andre Fleury's seventh season with the Penguins because it seems like just yesterday that you came into the league. So here is the first question. Which of your teammates do you think is the best candidate to pose nude for ESPN magazine? <laughs> you can say yourself if you think so. <laughs> no, actually, they, they asked me this summer, but uh, oh, I declined. Yeah, really? No, no, honestly, yeah. did they ask you? Yeah. Because yeah. Roberto Luongo made that claim, and we're not sure if he was serious <laughs> or not. I guess they're looking for goalies. You know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just. Uh, well, why did you say no? Yeah, what happened? Who got it? Who did Mario shut you down? Who no, was it? no, actually, Penguins wanted me to do it. Just to, uh, I guess, promote the team a little bit, yeah. you know, but yeah. uh, I don't know. I just you got scared a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. That's not me, you know. Like, yeah. I'm not the big buffy guy with the big muscle, you know. So. But you're in good shape and you're yeah. ripped, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just, I don't know if people want to see a little tall, skinny guy in there, you know. <laughs> oh, man. We're a minute into it and the show's off the rails. Right? Kevin, save us. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, hey, man. I mean, but the main thing that I like is you have a lot of fun when you play. Uh, your teammates love playing in front of you and Johnny. Seems like you and Johnny have a good relationship, and you and your teammates have a good relationship, too. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, talking about the backup goaltender, Brent Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Brent Johnson for yeah. the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, uh, yeah, yeah, me and Johnny got along very good since he first got there. You know, he's, he was a guy that uh, turned me on, encouraged me, and uh, plays very well also. And also, mm-hmm. it's fun to, uh, to to practice with him, you know, ask some questions during games, you know, and on certain goals and stuff, he, and he helps me out. So, um, you know, I think we have a great Great, great group of guys. There's a lot of stuff we want to jam in, and we have limited time. We think as you guys are quickly out of here tonight to get to Edmonton for your game tomorrow night. Let's start with this. Go back to the 08 Stanley Cup Final. Uh, game 5 versus Detroit. You stopped 55 shots. The game went 4 hours and 36 minutes. Triple overtime. And uh, the Penguins, thanks to you, stayed alive in the series. Was that until you won the Cup the next year, the greatest game you ever played? Uh, I think so, yeah. Because uh, that was a pretty meaningful game, you know, going uh, in the playoff like that, but uh, we just stayed alive for one more game, and um, it was nice to get that win. It was so long, it was so tiring, you know, but uh, definitely felt great to, to get that win. Okay, the next year, Game 7 versus Detroit in the Joe Lewis Arena, and uh, what a frantic finish. Pucks whizzing through the crease in the dying seconds uh, as the Wings tried to tie it, and you made a huge save on Nick Lidstrom to deliver the cup to Pittsburgh. So a few years later, I'm going to ask you how you remember it, and then we'll look back to what you actually said to me that night. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that, what I said. But, um, at that time, you know, I was just <laughs> a little worried because I saw Lidstrom coming uh, on the other side, you know, but I just tried to get there as quick as possible and uh, just, I don't know, put my body out there. So you did a little power push, one, two, three power push, and then you just kind of fell over. But it was an amazing save, and obviously that was the biggest save of your career. What did it actually feel like for a lot of viewers at home? We all dream about winning the, the Stanley Cup. What did it actually feel like for you, though, when you won it? Oh, my God, it was uh, amazing. You know, it's like at first we're just like, like, is this all, like we won, like for yeah. real? <laughs> you know? yeah. But, yeah. Um, I think you don't realize right away, you know, and... Uh, I don't know, when you lift the cup, though, and give it a kiss, you know, and skate around, I think that's just such a relief, you know, such a, I don't know, great moment to, to live. Okay, across. so back to that frantic finish. Here is what you actually said to an intrepid reporter that night. What were you thinking at the end when they were all around you in the final few seconds uh, of the game? I said, oh, shit. When I, <laughs> I knew that. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess <laughs> the rebound went by, uh, far, and I saw a little strong coming in, but uh, I got a piece of it, so I was very happy. You know, we love it, Marc-Andre, <laughs> when someone speaks from the heart. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the parents like it, though, when the kids are watching. They well, actually, yeah, and I, I did note that uh, when they, uh, the Penguins had the parade and the big civic reception downtown, that you you, you started with an apology for, yeah, for saying Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, because, I don't know, like, <laughs> to us French guys, yeah, I guess. No, 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 what's the French translation for that? Uh, <laughs> mail, 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 yeah. Mail. Okay. Now we're swearing in French. That, yeah. English wasn't enough. Well, it's not that um, in French, so it's still, it's good. So that's why yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's allowed in French. Uh, 24-7, the HBO series, it, it played to rave reviews, mm. and it struck me that as I was watching it that it, you were well suited to it. It was almost tailor-made for you. I talked to Tom McMillan, uh, the... Uh, Penguins Vice President of Communications today and he said some people might have thought that you were playing to camera but that was actually you. You'd been doing that stuff for three, four years. There had been no cameras around to see it but in the case of HBO there was. What did you think of 24-7? Um, I don't know. It, 
It was kind of fun, you know, at first it's kind of a little bit weird, you know, to have the cameras always, always around, you know, following you and stuff, but um, it was good though, we had like a guy like Max who loves the camera, you know, so yeah. could, we just push him into it, you know, and then do stupid stuff, but um, at the end, though, you just, they were good guys, you know, always trying to uh, help you out, not trying to make you look stupid, you know. So. Well, your personality, I thought, was really on display in the shootout to end practice at Heinz Field. Let's, we got to look at it, here it is. Bad. That wasn't very creative, Betty. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, you guys put that one to the wall. <laughs> yep, that's one more. Oh, you f***ing <laughs> face. <laughs> Come down here, you bastard. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that quick leg. Unbelievable. Don't even think about it. There's nothing there. Oh, you f***ing face again, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make you run all the way up there. All the way up there. <laughs> oh. Uh. oh my god, you're going up there. You're going up. Watch it. Yeah. Is that the one that yeah. didn't have to run up the stairs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's Jordan Stahl had to go up the stairs, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Uh, that was his first yeah. game back, and he, keeps, uh, he kept saying he was, was going to score me all the yeah. time, you know, so I made sure he was the one running yeah. up the stairs. But here's the point. That was beautiful, and that was you, right? Yeah. That wasn't you acting. That's the way you are. Right? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. We see each other so much and yeah. do so many breakaways in the season, you know, so I don't know. I thought I'd keep it fun and... Yeah. Okay, I don't know if uh, living in the States you would have seen this, but a couple of years ago there was a very popular ad on Canadian television, and uh, when we saw you in the shootout practice at Heinz Field, it really reminded us of this. Have a look. Who's new goalie? JCPT. <laughs> Some high shot they call up from the minors. Meet the D. Stack them up. Extra maple syrup. <laughs> Merveilleux. Love me. See you in the highlight reel. Quick, quick, like a shot. <laughs> Sensational. Nice try, no goal off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that you uh, actually uh, doing the voice track there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're racing uh, here. So, Kevin, let's yeah. assume the position. Uh, you know what we're talking about here? Do you recognize this? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I don't know. Uh, Montreal, Carey Price yeah. beats the Penguins in a shootout, yeah. and he does the pose. Six days later, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that is when awesome. you beat the Canadians. Uh, what were you yeah. thinking there? Uh, I don't know. It was mostly for a laugh with the players, and you know, all since uh, that happened. And you know, in Montreal, too, they talked about it so much, you know, but. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, fun. Yeah, it was just, just for a laugh. Yeah, just for a laugh at the guys. Absolutely. We got to let you go, but I'm going to jam in one tweet here. It's a question I got earlier tonight from Nav097. Uh, and this is a legitimate question, enough of the tomfoolery that we've been engaging in. Uh, do you feel less pressure than the average goaltender because of 87, Sidney Crosby and 71, Evgeny Malkin on the Penguins? Um, yeah, I think so. You know, and I know if. Uh, I let one, uh, one tough one in, you know, I know that with these guys, they can always come back, you know, so I just have to worry about stopping the next one, you know, and um, just for forget about it, and I'm sure they'll, they'll get some for me afterward. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Andre. I really appreciate it. Coming on. We appreciate it, man. No Thank you. Good pleasure. luck the rest of the way. Thank Mark you. Andre Fleury, the Pittsburgh Penguins, our guest on After Hours. Stay with us. Scott Hannon of the Calgary Flames joins us next.